We're here at Taylor Guitars. Private tour. We have a private tour arranged, Cobb the Magic Man. Yes, we have a private tour here of the uh, Taylor Guitar Facility in El Cajon, California. A lovely tour guide, Shalice, is, uh, uh, we want to thank her for thank you. making this possible. <laughs> and uh, they actually store a lot of the wood that they first get into their factory outside because it has to acclimate. This, all the woods they're going to use to make the bodies, the necks, everything on the guitars, it has to acclimate to the uh, current climate condition. And here in El Cajon, it's actually really perfect weather where they can leave all the stuff outside to let it, for the most part, to let it acclimate. And here you see a big batch of almost like four by four shots of mahogany. This is all mahogany. And then in here, how many, how many guitars did they produce last year? Uh, last year they made about uh, 78,000 guitars. Wow. They do out of this facility about 300 a day. And the thing about Taylor, you have to remember, is that their guitars are pretty much production handmade where they use the instruments for the fine cutting at, at very quick rates, even more precise than if you could do it by hand, but then they're pretty much assembled one at a time. So you get like almost like better quality than some of the uh, uh, real, real high-end stuff. It's like every one's almost handmade. And here you can see a lot more of the different woods used for the necks and bodies and tops of the guitars. There's African mahogany on my right there. And uh, you can see how these woods will have to sit here until they acclimate to the climate. Okay. Here you have a, a pallet of this Sapele lumber, which they have in small squares, uh, which um, they use in a lot of their uh, baby tailors when they make them. But you can see, you know, we're basically looking at all the raw materials here, which gets finely milled and cut and uh, turned into the beautiful Taylor guitars that we all know and love. This is some Sapele. Again, we have more. This must be the mahogany section, because most of all this wood is uh, all mahogany. Rock maple. Yeah. Does that mean it's hard rock maple? <laughs> Hard, hard rock maple. Hard rock maple right yeah. here. Yeah. Wait, wait, I need my pick to test this. That's hard rock maple right hard there. Hard rock maple, here we go. Yeah. Sounds good. What do you think, Celise? Yeah. Hard rock maple. You're really going to have to talk loud on this. Yeah. These are, we're here in the milling facility at Taylor, and these little pieces here are neck blocks. This is going to be the neck of a very fine instrument. This looks like a piece of mahogany. Again, wait a minute, we got to do the next level guitar test. Are you ready? All right, here we go. All right, this one's good, Shalise. This one's fast. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. All right. that has been cut and book matched, meaning they take a big hunk of wood and they slice it in half so you have two matched pieces. And these pieces are then glued together like a top of most acoustic guitars are two pieces of wood. Two pieces glued together, book matched, because it's a lot stronger than one. And what this gentleman here is doing is he's getting the uh, spruce, this is spruce together, so they can go into the kiln. I tell her so it's going to be dried even more. A lot of work and look at all these pallets of, this is for the tops of the guitars of the soundboard, the spruce, getting ready to uh, book match, all book spruce. Climate control. Climate control. Climate control. Climate control. Climate control. Notice the uh, temperature gauge. Every room here at the Taylor factory is climate controlled. Some cooler and some hotter, but every room has the ultimate in, uh, conditions 
for what's best for the, whether it be the drying or the finishing or the making of the wood. But every single room has climax control on it. We go into another room at Taylor. Wow, this room's a lot colder. In fact, I, I don't know, Tim, because it's warmer in this room and colder, it should be raining in that doorway. Whoa. There's some type of barometric yeah. pressure something here going on. These being shaped here, it looks like these are some of the solid body guitars that Taylor are making now in natural mahogany. LH, I guess that's a left-handed model as they mark. This is the T5 area, the, the famous T5 Taylor guitars. And as you see on the top, all around the wood, you have more wood acclimating to the temperature here. So they have to get the wood at just the right temperature. We saw before how they acclimate the wood outside then you have acclimating going on inside. And then they also, we talked before about how they have the kiln. And some wood might sit in the kiln like a hard, dense wood like ebony for a month because the wood is so dense before it gets dried to just the right temperature. So you can see the care that, that Taylor takes in every single piece of wood when it goes through before it even hits a mill or a cut or anything. Okay, this is big hush hush right now. In fact, uh, we're not even supposed to be over here, but. Yard. Yeah, yard watch out. I'm going to try to get this little spiel in before the armed guards in here. What this is right here is pretty much the holy grail. Don't touch it. I can't. They don't allow me to touch it. I, I can only come don't touch it. Close. Um, this is like, like Nigel, remember? Yeah, yeah. You don't even look don't at even it. Don't even look at it. This don't is look at it. Brazilian rosewood. This is the holy grail amongst tone woods for making acoustic guitars. And look at this. This is so beautiful. Like each I'm gonna zoom in. piece has a fingerprint and is you can see depending how the tree grows some have a little bit more brownish reds and black and the color is just magnificent and the 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 pattern that you can get from this wood and the tone that it creates is why it is such a uh, 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 most one of the most sought after woods that they keep under lock and key here at Taylor and like I said we're not even supposed to be here but luckily here comes uh, the guards luckily we got, what did we get, level five clearance today to be able right, to come to this still, area? Your visitor badge. Yeah. What's that? Stay still, there's your visitor yeah. security. I, I had to pass security. All right. I was able, I only had to give one urine sample oh. to be able to come here. To That's be too much information needed. Here. Yeah. Sound machine. Uh, we have some Brazilian in here, but a lot of these are also, we do a thing called Taylor U, um, which is uh, Taylor University, so we bring in dealers from all over the country and we set up and, and show them a bunch of wood and then they hand pick some some guitars that they want to build so these are all the ones that they picked what is this this is macassar ebony that's macassar ebony cool wow look at that and, and is that macassar with the white in it this there? is macassar too wow what variation you can get huh yes wow. it, it goes from from that's dark one to piece light. oh this is two pieces put together this is two pieces yeah. for the back of a guitar yes this is yeah. for the back See how the back, can I touch this? Yeah, help yourself. This is gonna be a back of a guitar and you can see how this Macassar, is that the right pronunciation? Correct. Macassar yes. Ebony, look at how they can make one piece of wood so strong by gluing two pieces together. And what is this, a piece of maple in here? That is a piece of koa, actually. Koa. Wow, I don't think I've seen koa that light. It yeah. is a light piece of koa, but you can see the figure all, all the way through it. That is, and then what is in between the woods? If you could see uh, that, it's just a fiber piece of fiber purfling that we to put help in the bonding, or uh, yeah, and it gives it like a, a decorative look. It puts space between the wood itself because if there was no space, you could see how light this is, and then how light this is. Uh, yeah. If you just put the light together, it doesn't it doesn't contrast, contrast well. Yeah. yeah. So if you put a piece of purfling in between it makes it contrast better. And I see sometimes they also this is where they can do a lot of that inlay work. A lot of times you in, see. You'll see like at the seams around the binding where they do that really cool, all Correct, those inlays. Yes. Yeah, you can lay that in. Wow, that is beautiful. Yeah.